All right, well, today we're gonna be processing some rabbits. I gotta get this done kind of quick because I got some other things to do today. Uh, I gotta help a friend, my cousin, actually out with moving some furniture. So these are past due being processed though, so I need to get it done. So, but I'm gonna move pretty quick through this one today. Uh, usually I'd bring a hose out here and hose them down, but uh, I, my hose won't reach quite this far and my other hose has got a leak in it, so I'm just gonna forego that part of it. Um, but uh, this should be a pretty simple process. I've shot this stuff on video before, but this is what I gotta get done today. So instead of not doing a video for you, I think I'll go ahead and just film this. So what I've got here, I've got a high powered pellet rifle. That's what I'm gonna use to dispatch. This is a 22 caliber pellet rifle. So I'll be using that to dispatch them. There's only four of them, so it shouldn't take too long. Get this branch out of the way. See if that helps the camera a little bit. And then uh, let's see, I got a bowl to put them in. Good sharp knife. People ask me all the time what kind of knife. You know, this is a Mora knife. They're super cheap, good knives. Just make sure it's sharp. Learn how to sharpen a knife and sharpen it. That's really all that matters. Got a pair of uh, clippers here to cut through bone on the feet and the, you know, around the neck, that kind of thing. And uh, that's really about it. I got a trash can here to catch all the waste. And uh, that's it. Um, got a couple of, uh, got a piece of paracord wrapped up around this branch here. So I'll put their feet through there, slip knots, tighten it down, hang them. You'll see all that process as we go. Now I cannot show the actual dispatching on video because YouTube frowns on that. But uh, what I'm gonna be doing is basically just uh, make a crisscross between their ears and the tip of their nose, right through the top of their head basically, um, put them down. So it's pretty quick, uh, pretty humane, about as humane as it can be. And it doesn't bruise the neck up like the uh, broomstick method. So I've used both, I, I, you know, both of them work really well, both of them are very humane. Uh, very quick, but um, but the broomstick method does um, And if you don't know what that is, that's just a broomstick basically or a, a stick across the back of the neck You put your feet on it, you pull on their legs and basically dislocate their neck and it puts them down pretty quick But it does bruise up around the neck quite a bit. So, you know, either way works really well um, Got a couple of gloves here to To uh, keep my hands kind of clean and not too bad So let's get to it and see if I can get them over here without them shredding these gloves and uh, get them dispatched and get them up on here and then we'll pick the video back up. But uh, let me get all kind of prepared here. There we go, there's our trash can. Bring the camera in a little closer. Okay. Okay, he is dispatched now. Still got nerves kicking, but he's dispatched. Let him bleed out for just a minute or two. I fear. Help this process. always surprised at how little blood there actually is when you process a rabbit. The first thing I'm going to do is, if you haven't seen this before, just cut around. Try to cut through just the skin and not the meat and the skin. Uh, just around the legs. It looks like I did get through some meat. Hopefully it'll still hold on. Just remove the, the skin basically. And usually you can just pull it once you get it cut loose. And there we go. It's going. And then we'll do the same thing on the other leg. Hopefully this is showing up. You can see it. It's just, uh, that's why a nice sharp knife helps. Let the knife do the work. There we 
we go. Once I got that pulled down, kind of poke my fingers through, get the skin loosened up, get it away from the body, cut it right there. So we can open it up, I'll turn them around, pull the tail down as far as I can and cut that off. Whoops, turn my knife around to where it works right. And then all this skin comes down just like so. Let me take the ears, save those for uh, dog treats, throw them in the oven about 100 degrees, let them sit in there and dehydrate. They make great little dog treats. Dogs love them. So save the ears for him. You could save a whole bunch of other stuff for him too if you wanted to. Don't see any reason to. Right now, like I said, I'm kind of in a hurry trying to just get this done. So pull that basically down as far as you can. Get the legs worked loose. Whoops, didn't mean to pull that all the way off, but that's not gonna matter. And then, uh, then we'll take my knife. I'm gonna take the head off here. I'll just cut down to the bone. All the way around, basically. get my clippers take the head off right there at the neck take the feet off and then we're gonna open them up and try to keep your knife pulled this way I don't know how well it's showing up but pulled this way away from the rabbit so you try not to puncture things inside and you're just cutting the skin basically. And it helps to kind of open it up so we don't cut everything open inside, keep it all kind of contained. There's the bladder right there. You want to be kind of careful when you take care of that. Try not to spill it on everything. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you do, but so I pinch that up really high, cut that away, drop that in the trash, get rid of that. It's just a matter of opening them up, find it easiest to bend that to break that, and then you can just kind of cut down each side of the pelvis here, open that up, and basically just pull everything out. Let me set this knife down for a minute. Everything's going to come out here. You could keep organ meats if you want to. I'm not gonna mess with it this time. Sometimes I like to keep the liver and, uh, cause rabbit liver is pretty good if you like liver, but I'm not gonna mess with it today. So there's everything out. Got the diaphragm right there. Basically just pull on it pretty hard and it should come out. And then the heart and lungs are right below that. So that's basically all there is to it. There's just a couple of little scraggly things left behind, but that's for the most part, that rabbit is processed. Take him in and wash him up. And uh, make sure I got it all cleaned out up in here. I think I do. Looks good, okay. Let me get the uh, clippers here. We'll take care of snipping off his feet here. And get the knife on that. Now saves your knife cutting through the bone with those though. And one rabbit processed. Three more to go. Get my Slip knots all line back up and ready. Pellet rifle ready, and we'll get the next one and get it going. Okay. Again, nerves kicking, but this rabbit is dispatched.
So again, it's basically the same process. I'll help weed it out a little bit. And take the ears. And then again, start right here at the feet. Cut around there. Meet the well, I didn't cut. Now I'm starting to get dull already. This one, skin's a little tougher on this one can't get it to pull apart so what I'm gonna do is cut cut towards the skin not towards the meat just give myself a little bit of there we go got a finger hole in there that's basically all I needed oh and you can see I pulled some meat away from the bone here I don't know if you can see that or, or not but that meats pulled away from the bone so again pull the skin tight cut towards the skin not towards the meat and cut this away so so we're not tearing up the meat too bad it happens occasionally not very often but occasionally all right let's go with the next leg get this opened up Can't get through, there we go, got it. Good grief, that was tough. Actually, you know what I need to do? I need to take the tail off. Now we're making progress. And then again, it's the same process I already went through. I don't know how many times you need to see it, but we'll show you. Head's gone. Tore up that meat right there. Tore it off the bone, but it'll be okay. This is a male, so I'm going to remove the, you know, the, the male parts there. And then... We'll open him up. And again, grab everything, pull. Most of it will come out pretty much one little swoop like that. Take care of the bladder here, get it out of the way so we don't get that all over the meat. Open up that pelvis. Cut on either side of it. Take care of that. I'm gonna break it. 
There we go. And just about done with this one too. Just he's got a lot of fat on him. I don't save rabbit fat. To me, it's just not that good. So I just get rid of it. Let's take care of the diaphragm, pull that out. And then the heart and lungs come out. Get the rest of the lungs out. Got bugs crawling on me. And there we go. That's pretty much, he needs washed up a little bit, but that's pretty much it. He's done. Take him in and wash him up here in just a little bit. All right, two down, two to go. I don't know if you need to watch the whole thing. We'll decide uh, when I get done how much I want to show on video because the next two are going to go basically the same way. So, um, let me, I'm going to change my gloves out anyway. Get rid of these for a minute. And get my rifle ready. And go get another rabbit. All right, I didn't get too much blood on me. I think I got some right there. I can't see it looking down that way, but looks like I might have. It's almost, you know, it's pretty clean process. I don't usually get a lot of blood on me, but every once in a while, a few specks here and there. Should have worn an older shirt, uh, but I didn't. Oh well, it'll wash out, it'll be okay. So anyway, that's the process of uh, dispatching rabbits pretty quick. And, um, hang on, let me get that off there. I'm gonna leave that hanging in the tree and I'll forget it if I don't. There we go. Um, where was I, where was I? That's the process anyway of dispatching rabbits. You can do it pretty quick. Now I'm gonna take these guys in, wash them off real good, uh, put them in the fridge, uh, cover them over the, the bowl so it's not just wide open, and let those age for probably about a week. And then I'll put them in the freezer, um, cook them, you know, whatever I wanna do at that point. Uh, but you do need to let the rest meet until the rigor mortis leaves, usually about four days, something like that. But it works out pretty well. This is the weekend, and so I'll just let them set probably till next weekend and then take care of them um, in the refrigerator. Um, I like to dry age. I don't like to, to wet age, so I don't soak them in salt water or anything like that. I just wash them off, leave them dry in the fridge for, like I said, about a week. Um, I have done probably more in-depth instructional video on this before, but hopefully that was enough. If you're a first timer, you've never done it before, that's enough. I mean, it's really not that hard. Once you do one, it's pretty self-explanatory from that point on. And, how you how you do it um, and you can do it pretty quick the hardest part is just that initial you know dispatching the animal really if you've never done that before that's um, emotionally I guess the toughest part is to dispatch the elk now it helps whenever you know you pick those rabbits up and they're kicking like crazy and they scratch you that makes it a little bit easier but still it's not easy it's not the fun part of raising animals for meat but Either you're doing it yourself or you're paying somebody else to do it one way or the other. And if you're doing it yourself, you at least know the animal had a good life up until the very end. And then it was just a moment, just as quick, as, as humane as possible, you know, dispatch that animal. Try not to second guess it, just do it. Just go through, you know, kind of an autopilot kind of thing. It's a little bit tricky the first couple of times, but, you know, you get it down and you get used to it. So, anyway, uh, like I said, I know this is video I've shot before. You guys have probably all seen before, but... I wanted to make sure I got video out for you this week. This is what I needed to get done this morning. I probably got about an hour before I got to go help move some furniture. So I need to get this stuff cleaned up and uh, go get the rabbits put away in the fridge. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, God bless.